What's happening guys, it's your boy Mikey, and let's just get right to it. Uh, NASCAR has announced, again, they have limited the cut drivers from competing in the Xfinity and Truck Series in 2018. Now, I'll, t I'll explain, then I'll get to my opinion about this. Um, so if, you, if you're a cup driver and race more than five years, uh, you can only compete in seven Xfinity races in only five races in the Truck Series in 2018. And uh, with that, they cannot participate in any of the uh, playoff races uh, in both of those series. So, so yeah, that's about it. Um, now I'll get to my thoughts. Uh, I knew this was coming. Um, I, th I think, well... I'm cl I'm glad they did it, but it. I think if the cup drivers actually use their own equipment, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Of cup drivers competing in the Xfinity and Truck Series, but I mean, this is why I don't watch the. I don't hardly watch any of the Xfinity or Truck Series that often because once Kyle Busch or Kyle Larson, Keselowski, once they're racing, you already know who's gonna fucking win. So. I mean, I was actually surprised freaking seeing the... I didn't watch the truck race last Saturday at Pocono, but I saw Kyle Busch got wrecked, and I saw the reaction from the crowd in the stands. Oh, my God. It was priceless. So, um, I mean, these two series, the Xfinity and Truck Guys, these are your time to shine. I mean, I know the old saying, in order to be the best, you got to beat the best. But what's good about fucking beating the best if you're not using their own equipment? You know you're going to get your ass kicked. I mean, that's just almost kind of unfair. Oh, yeah, it's his own game play again. And, um... So, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's enough. I mean, if they want to race at Daytona Talladega and Cup, or uh, in the Xfinity or Trucks, I mean, that's just one of those tracks where it's anybody's game. You just got to go, go in the right line. And, you know, all that restrictor plate stats stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I don't know. At the same time, I think it needed this because if you think about it, the last couple of years, what year was it that uh, I think it was Austin Dillon that won the Xfinity Championship, but he had no wins because freaking Kyle Busch won half the damn races that year. And freaking Daniel Suarez, who did beat uh, Kyle Busch last year at Michigan in the Xfinity, probably would have had more wins um, that year and still would have won the championship. So... But Kyle Busch won every single fucking one. So, I don't know. I'm actually planning on going to the truck race uh, when they come to MIS. So, if, if Kyle Busch is racing in it, then I might have second thoughts about that. So, unless somebody is brave enough to fucking put his ass in the wall. So, yeah, I can hear Kyle Busch fans crying right now. <laughs> Alright, so, anyway, that's my thoughts again. I think it needed this. I mean, let the kids who are trying to come out, give them a chance to shine. Like, for example, I didn't get a chance to watch the Xfinity race at Iowa last week, but I have family stuff going on. From what I understand, I don't think any of the Cup drivers raced uh, that race last Saturday. And from what I understand, it was a great race. I mean, I, still, I don't know who won, got their first win, but somebody did. I don't pay hardly attention to the Xfinity or trucks just because I mean the cup drivers usually ruin it I want to see like all these other guys freaking getting their name to shine like William Byron um, you know, I would say Bubba Wallace you know all those guys that are trying to get their way up to the sport so I mean it's just sad because I even in the truck series freaking I can't remember who it was a couple years ago somebody won the trucks I'm, it might be Matt Crafton. I, I don't know. I'm probably thinking of somebody else. Matt Crafton, I would just say, won the Truck Series, the championship, with no wins because all of the um, wins were from Kyle Busch, which is kind of ridiculous. So, And also, if you're competing in the race, uh, all the points you earn don't count. You're not even eligible to race for a championship. And, uh, oh yeah, I also uh, forgot to mention, uh, all the cup drivers who are competing in, are uh, limited to the cup 
drivers competing in the Xfinity will not be able to race in the Dash for Cash, which nobody really gives a shit about that. So that's all I gotta say. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Again, knew this was gonna happen again because it wasn't enough. I still think it's not enough for the uh, Xfinity. I mean, maybe five or four races a year, kind of like how Junior does it back then. So. I mean, if they want to compete like Daytona, Talladega, Bristol, or, you know, just some tracks like that. So, tell me what you guys think. Let me know, let me know down in the comments, and I will catch you guys on the next one.